welcome back to another video. I know it's been some time, but God, I've got an update for you. It's been quite the day. Uh, definitely wasn't planning on making a video this soon. I was waiting for a couple extra bucks to roll in. However, we had an unfortunate series of event happen today. So stay tuned for the video, find out what happened. All right, so as you guys can see here, you might be able to tell, well, my bumper's gone, okay? And what I've got to say is about three hours ago, I got into a little fender bender. I was looking at my girlfriend. She was driving next to me. You know, I was trying to say something to her, and I looked away for two seconds, the light turns green. I swear to God, the guy in front of me started going, but he didn't. He didn't see the light turn green, so he was still stopped. Well, I thought he did, so boom! I smacked into him at 10 miles an hour tops. Well, destroyed his bumper, destroyed his tailgate, and uh, my bumper didn't end up too bad. Honestly, I already got it off of the truck. You probably can't even tell. There's a few dents it's pushed in, but you know, all in all, it's really not that bad. However, I can't stand driving around without a bumper. So I'm actually getting ready to head down to um, another area here in Colorado to pick up a bumper from a private seller who just happened to have the same bumper that I was really looking for. So stay tuned. We're gonna cruise down there. We're gonna pick up that bumper and we're gonna try to put that thing on tonight and give you guys a good uh, overview of how that goes. So stay tuned. All right, guys, let me turn a light on here real quick. We just got back. I picked up this bumper. I'm gonna go unload it from the car, but I know I've been talking about doing more upgrades to my truck. Uh, I've been wanting to do a bunch of stuff to my truck, but a new bumper is not quite what I had in mind for my truck. I was gonna do an exhaust. I was gonna do a tune, uh, some bigger tires, but that's all still coming, however, we had to take a little detour and we have to put on this new bumper because of this freaking accident I got into. So I'm not all that enthused about the accident, but I'm super stoked about this bumper. So let me get this bumper unloaded real quick and I'll show you exactly what I got. Well, we got the bumper unloaded. There's my beautiful lady and maybe slight cause of the accident, but it's all good. We got the bumper here. It actually looks pretty sick. Now the hardest part is gonna be figuring out how to put this dang thing on the truck. Cause there's no manual. So we gotta find a video. She's gonna help me. She's gonna be my flashlight girl. So let me pull the truck in and we're gonna get after this tonight because I need to get this done so I can be back in business tomorrow. There's dad's beast. I think you guys, some of you guys have probably seen this truck before in another video, but that's his beast. We're gonna get ours looking all nice and right, looking a little better than his from the front end. But right now we look a little goofy without a bump but she's gonna pull the truck in hopefully oh that's a tight squeeze there we are cuss on Welcome back to Arts and Crafts. <laughs> You're not supposed to cuss on YouTube. <laughs> Dylan, it's gonna be so it doesn't um around, doesn't rattle or rub up against its counterpart. Oh, we got a hot mess over here and we got half a bumper. So that's cool. It sticks out pretty far. My brother said it has like an underbite, so you know, I basically have a bulldog truck now. But it's midnight, so hopefully we can get this finished real quick because I'm so done with it. All right, it's like 12.30. We just got done putting the bumper on. We're still not done. We got to wire in the fog lights. And with these little LED pods that we need to get wired up all in all, it actually looks pretty darn good. Better than a truck with no bumper or a beat up bumper. I don't know, I'd say it looks pretty good. I feel like our video started off a lot more energetic and now it's like it's 12.30 at night. We've been doing this for way too long. So stay tuned, we'll finish it up tomorrow and uh, We'll show you the finished product as soon as we're done. Good morning, guys. It is the next day and I'm still not quite done. I need to get these lights wrapped up, but I need to run to the store to get some connectors so I can wire these lights in. I realize I don't have what I need, but uh, I need to get those all wired up and call today. But I did notice not something else from the crash, but I think my battery in my truck's been going dead for a while. So, you know, perfect timing for that to happen. But um, the thing, it barely wanted to start this morning. So I'm gonna go get these lights done, get everything connected again. And uh, then I'm gonna see if I can test this battery too. Cause I don't know what the hell's going on. If it's not the battery, maybe it's the alternator. But yeah, let's go to the auto parts store so we can get this wrapped up. Stealing and taking my brother's car to run to the auto parts store. I wanted to do like a quick rant because I feel like I'm a very impatient person, right? I got in this accident yesterday. Didn't do much damage. I probably could have drove my truck how it was for a little while and uh, focused on finding a bumper. But within an hour of getting in this accident and getting home, jumped online, found a bumper, went and picked it up and already have it installed before the next day so I can get back to business. And you know, some would say that's awesome, which it, you know it is, I'd be able to use my truck here in the next hour or so once I'm done. But 
at the same time, it's like, holy shit. Like, dude, take a chill pill, figure some things out, and you don't have to rush to get anything done. So that's kind of my rant, because I'm like, what the hell am I doing? But good news is, is the truck should be fixed. Time to get back home and get after this. Now that I have the right things that I needed, I just needed these heat shrink wrap uh, crimps, but let's not crash on the way home, all right? All right, you guys. That should just about wrap us up. I got it all installed. I got everything done. I got the fog lights wired on to work. Everything looks good. Um, I just took it for a test drive. Obviously this bumper is way heavier than the stock one. I'm not sure if the suspension just isn't quite used to it, but it feels a little different, but it's uh, definitely a lot heavier. So I'll, uh, I'll see how this does over the next few weeks, months, whatever it might be. And we'll decide if we're going to keep this forever. But all in all, I think it looks pretty good, especially if we're going to throw some 35s on it. That's what happens when you guys get in an accident. At least it was low speed. At least nobody was hurt. Um, sucks, but it is kind of a cool excuse to put a cool bumper on the truck, even though that's not what I was ever planning to do. But there's one last glimpse of it. You guys, check it out. It looks good. It looks like my truck's got a fat dip in right now. But it is a, uh, it's a DV8 bumper. Pretty sweet, actually. So can't go wrong with that. I actually got a smoking deal on this thing. I know it's like a $1,200, $1,300 bumper brand new. And a gentleman was selling a brand new one on Facebook Marketplace. And I picked it up for 800 bucks. So I can't complain. I think it's a, a pretty good replacement for what happened. So thank you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace.